Hi there, it's Sue here from EssentiallySusan.com. I want to talk today um, and just make a really quick video about my favourite keto bread recipe book. So this particular book is filled with bread recipes and baked good recipe, baked recipes, baked goods recipes um, that uh, have been created exactly and precisely for the ketogenic diet. So these recipes in this book are really yummy and they work. And that's a real, um, really hard thing to find um, on the keto diet is breads that actually taste good and that, that work. So I found the original version of this book, I don't know, maybe two or three years ago, maybe longer. Um, and it had been written specifically for a low carbohydrate diet and for people who were gluten free um, and had allergies I guess um, to grains and that sort of thing or who wanted to avoid them and I found it in my emails I was rummaging through an old email account and found it and um, for some reason it jumped out at me I bought a copy and I tried my first recipe out of that book and I was like oh my god because I'd been gluten free at that stage for uh, probably at least three or four years and so it's kind of missing bread and the gluten free breads you buy in the shop a lot of the time are pretty crappy so when I made this, I was just blown away at how good it was. So um, the author of this book has done a really good job. She's put a lot of work into it, um, trying and testing recipes and finding out what works and looking into the science behind creating breads and baked goods without gluten in them and without grains in them. Um, so she's added the nutritional information for every recipe in there. So you know exactly how many... Um, carbohydrates and net carbohydrates you're eating per slice she's got it all sectioned you know into how many servings each loaf provides and the calories and all the rest of it so that's a really handy thing to have um, in the book there are um, it starts off it's 118 pages and it starts off with uh, the author talking a little bit about herself and how she came to be playing around with these recipes and then it goes on to talk about the ketogenic diet um, then it talks about the ingredients and why they're used how to use them um, and why they're in there and it also talks um, about which is fantastic alternative ingredients so if you have a dairy allergy and you wanted to make one of the breads that contain dairy she tells you what to use instead if you have a, an egg allergy she tells you what you can use instead if you have um, a tree nut allergy she tells you what to use instead because a lot of these recipes obviously contain almond flour so um, there's there's something in there for everybody who's trying to avoid grains no matter what kind of allergies and things you have she says of course it, it's if you change the ingredients it's going to take change the carbohydrate count but that might not be your focus your focus might be to avoid um, grains and avoid dairy in your breads or it might be to avoid grains and avoid eggs in your bread so yeah so she has quite a few alternatives in there for different things that you can use and how to use them so the book um, is under $20 and you can download it right now and get started. Um, download it in a PDF version if you're impatient like me and you just want to get into it. Otherwise, if you um, would rather have a hard copy version, you can buy that as well and order it and have it posted to you, which is a new thing that she didn't used to have, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the recipe book has almost 40 recipes in it. And they vary from breads, rolls and buns, crackers, um, pizza bases, bagels and muffins and flatbreads. Um, the recipes that I've tried so far, I haven't tried all of them, but the ones that I have tried have been consistently good. She's done a really good job of putting these together. And as I said before, the science behind that is something that she's really delved into. And so there are ingredients in there that are in there for specific purposes to make these breads and baked goods work the way um, a traditional wheat bread or grain um, product would work. So one of those ingredients, which is a, a secret ingredient, is psyllium husk. So psyllium, if you know what that is, is a fibre that's not digestible, but it's a prebiotic fibre, good for your gut. And it's in there because when it combines with other ingredients, it creates this um, more mucilaginous type mixture, I guess, that behaves more like gluten when it's baked. 
So it allows the breads and um, other products to rise the way that bread normally would with gluten in it, which is really cool and really unusual. So um, let's have a look at what's in this recipe book. I'm going to share this with you and we'll have a look at some of the breads and some of the recipes that are in there. These are by no means all of them, but let's get started. Now let's take a quick look at just some of the recipes included in this book. First there's a hearty sandwich bread. It's dense and nutty like a whole grain sandwich bread, but with just one net carb per slice. Can you believe that? and a classic sandwich loaf which is kind of soft and chewy and makes the perfect french toast there's also a summer zucchini bread which can be made either savory or sweet and better banana bread oh my lordy this is one of my favorites but my problem is just sticking to one or two slices there goes the carb count then there is cornbread keto protein bread and a cashew sourdough the bread list goes on and it eventually moves on to other delights such as keto french bread pitta pockets tortillas english muffins bagels burger buns and dinner rolls you're getting the picture right you need this recipe book if you're eating keto and you're missing bread and pizza, I know you're going to love this because you've got nothing to lose. There's a 100% money back guarantee if you don't love this recipe book. You'll find out more at the link below this video. These are seriously the best keto bread recipes. So what do you think? It sounds good, doesn't it? Um, I, as I said, I'll put the link below to that book underneath the video. And when you grab yourself a copy and you try these recipes, come back and let me know what you think. Let me know what you've tried and how it worked out, okay? I will talk to you again another day.